Tadrick on the NJ.com here with South Brunswick's Phil Campbell, a safety junior. Picked up an offer from Rutgers today at Unofficial Visitors Weekend. How's it going, Phil? Good. Nice. How'd the offer come about? Uh, Coach Flood pulled me into his office and, you know, he said that he loved everything about me. I told him I loved the school and he said that uh, he was going to offer me a full scholarship. Nice, nice. How did that feel when you heard those words come out? Uh, it was good. Um, because I've been a Rutgers fan all my life, and you know I've always, you know, wanted to, you know, just come here and, and play, and you know, I'm just thankful for the opportunity. Nice. I see you got the Rutgers gear on yeah. already, <laughs> making a huge statement. Now Rutgers was the first FBS school to offer you, correct? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Any other schools uh, looking to recruit you? That have been talking to you a lot lately? Oh well. Um, West Virginia offered me yesterday. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Cool. How do you feel about those guys? West Virginia, I like them. I like the coaching staff. It's going to be tough to say if it comes down to it. Okay. Uh, obviously, you know, you're only a junior. Any idea, you know, you, and you've got two offers at this point, but any idea in your mind when you want to get this recruiting process wrapped up? Um, I don't know. I mean, when I, I know what I'm going to do, I, I'll, I'll decide then. But right now, I don't know. Mine's open. Obviously, a bunch of South Brunswick guys have come through here. You know, um, you know, you're talking about Sanu and you know some of those other guys. Um, yeah. Does that yeah. TJ? You know, Mo obviously. Um, does that have any kind of bearing? Um, you know, on, on your choice, or does it give Rutgers any kind of edge? Uh, I mean, it gives Rutgers a little edge because those are my friends. You know, TJ called me yesterday after the West Virginia offer. Uh, I, I know I would be well connected here at Rutgers, so. That's going to play a little bit of a role. But what does the Rutgers staff feel like you do best on a football field? Um, they like how physical I play, and uh, they they just they love my whole game, and uh, I just really appreciate them giving me the offer. Nice. Any camps or combines this uh, off season? Uh, I might be going to the Nike opening, but uh, I, I'll let you know on that one. I, I probably will. And obviously, I mean, today was big. You picked up an offer. Um, you just grabbed one for West Virginia. So this is a pretty uh, monumental weekend overall yeah, for you. Just talk about um, the, the entire experience. Uh, I mean, it's kind of just still, like, surreal right now. Like, I, I can't uh, believe that, like, it happened so this fast. But I'm just thankful, and I'm just praying. And I'm thanking God for it. Obviously, you guys had a great season. You ran into a Manalpin team. I thought you guys yeah. got off to a good start in that game. They started running some power eye and, and ramming that football. And they killed us with that one screen pass. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I, I, I know that play very yeah. well. Um, what are your goals going into your senior year? Uh, obviously, the goal is to you know win it this time. You know, we fell short. We were 11 and one, but uh, I think I think this year we have a good shot of winning the whole thing. Nice. And obviously, with, with, with Mo. Um, yeah. You know, being your teammate, already being committed to Rutgers, has he already started? I saw you guys came out together. Has he yeah. already kind of been in your ear about the possibility of playing together? A little bit. You know, he talks to me. Like, I've been playing Pop Warner with most since I was about eight years old. So it, it would be a big deal if we went to college together. And even if we just played against each other at some point in time. Well, thanks for your time, Phil. This is Todrick Hunt, NJ.com, signing off.